Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are finally going to be answering probably the most frequently asked question regarding the 7th anniversary on Global. And that of course is how many free dragon stones can we expect to get during the celebration? Now, the short answer is a lot, but if you want a full breakdown of all the different sources of stones and to make sure that you don't miss any of them, then make sure to keep watching. Now, keep in mind that some of the numbers I give you here might be slightly off just because we're using the JP stone count and there could be some differences in like social media campaigns or top grossing and stuff like that, but it should be fairly close to what the actual number ends up being, okay? Now, before we jump into it, I want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is Modera Accounts. If you guys want to pick up a stacked global account with thousands of stones for very reasonable prices, then make sure to head down to the link in my description and check them out. And if you see something you like, you can use my discount code TIGER for 20% off your entire purchase. Once again, that is Modera account for a stacked global account and uh, code TIGER for 20% off your purchase. So with that said, let's dive right into it. Now, in case you guys weren't aware, there's going to be technically four parts to this anniversary. We have part one, which is starting tonight, and then we have part two about two weeks later, and then part three a couple weeks after that, and then there's also going to be this special EX part, which uh, also gives a surprising number of stones. So uh, we're going to break down all these parts and the various sources of stones we'll be getting throughout the anniversary by heading over to this Dragonstone uh, section. Now, I want to give a shout out to everyone that keeps the Dokkan Wiki running because this video would not be possible without them. So thank you to all the admins and everyone that is responsible for, uh, you know, making this possible. Okay, so we're going to start from the very top here with the missions from the Seven Masters, which were over the course of seven weeks. And there were a grand total of 21 stones from these Seven Masters missions. So right there is 21 stones. And then from there, we can move on to the countdown. Now, this is where... Uh, there's going to be a major difference between Global and JP because while we did get the comeback campaign and the daily login bonus as well as the social media stuff, we also got the Dokkan Scout campaign, which obviously JP didn't get. And that's another 50 extra stones, right? So the countdown total here should actually be closer to 80 to 90 stones as opposed to 37. So if you add those up, that's over a hundred stones already before the actual anniversary has started, right? Now, let's jump into part one, which is, once again, starting tonight, the day that this video is being made. And we have the daily login, which is for all parts, and that's 30 plus 99. Now, it's 30 because that's going to be part of the initial login bonus. We get 30 stones, and then... For the remaining days, it's 99 stones in total for 129. And then for the daily missions, all parts, it's 66 stones. And then we have the dragon stone or conversion. If you've been doing all the missions from the start up until now, you should have 77 of the dragon stone ores, which can be converted into dragon stones. So that's another 77 stones right there. And then we have a new boss rush, which is I think boss rush number 14, right? And that's 35 stones right there, very easy to get. Once you complete that, we have some new missions for the GT Legendary Goku event, and that's 10 stones. We have new missions for the Fighting Legend Vegeta or Legendary Vegeta event, that's another 10 stones. Uh, there's gonna be two new Dokkan events, of course, for the two new LRs, and that's four stones in total for that. And then for part one of the uh, all fired up marriage showdown grand finale stages. We got seven stones for the a fateful encounter Bulma and Vegeta part one. That's another 
Seven Stones, and then for part one of Legacies of Remarkable Fathers, that's Eight Stones. Now in case you guys didn't know, these are the three new story events we'll be getting for the anniversary. And uh, for this one, the Marriage Showdown Grand Finale, we're getting the Goku and Bulma, or sorry, the Goku and Chi Chi. And then for this one, it's obviously Bulma and Vegeta. And then this one is for the, uh, eventually, LR Gohan Goten and Trunks. And then we have the uh, Ultimate Red Zone Movie Bosses slash GT Edition stages and they give 12 Dragon Stones each. And then we have the Soaring Spirit Clash Between Rivals, which is the uh, Goku and Vegeta Skill Orb event. That's one stone for completion. And then we have a Special Edition 7th Anniversary Ultimate Clash or Battlefield, 45 total stones. From that, we have a Co-op Campaign, 10 stones, uh, 3 stones from the SNS Campaign. Now these could be slightly different for global, and then uh, top grossing. Now this is gonna be a major source of stones, and JP got 130 stones because of the like two top grossing rewards. It was like 100 initially, and then 30 after, and I fully expect global to get the same thing. So yeah, two top grossings, 130 stones total, and then there's this live stream thank you reward. Now, uh, we're not gonna get a live stream for global, but we should be getting a special like producer's letter slash Dokkan Now video and I think that they're still gonna announce a Dragonstone reward at the end of that. So 77 stones uh, in total for the video slash live stream. And if you add everything up from part one, it's a grand total of 643 Dragonstones for part one alone. And if you add that to the countdown and also the seven masters missions we're looking at easily over 700 750 stones after part one now jumping over to part two we have uh some special missions for three stones we have uh db games battle hour related missions now this actually is not going to be applicable to global just because uh the timing doesn't work out and also I'm not sure if Global even got stones for this, but either way, the DB Games Battle Hour thing is not happening, you know, again at this time, so this is kind of uh, irrelevant for our purposes. And then from there, we have a couple of Extreme Z Battles. The first one is Extreme Z Battle Destined Rival Saga 4 for the uh, Super Saiyan God Goku and Super Saiyan God Vegeta. That's 30 stones right there. And then we have Extreme Z Battle Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta versus Omega Shenron and that's gonna be 40 stones. And then we have some new missions for the GT Legendary Goku event, another 10 stones, and new missions for the Legendary Vegeta event, another 10 stones right there. And then we have some more stages for the uh, Goku and Chi Chi event, that's six stones. We got some more stages for the Bulma and Vegeta event, 10 more stones, and then some more stages for the uh, LR, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks event, that's 10 stones. And then new stages for Red Zone Movie Bosses, Red Zone GT Edition, 12 stones for each of those. Got the co-op campaign, which once again should be uh, similar on Global, but might be slightly different. And then we have the weekend missions, seven stones, SNS campaign, three stones, and then social media campaign, question marks, not really sure why that is, but I'm sure we'll get a uh, you know social media campaign on global as well through Twitter so that should be another you know 10 15 20 stones right there so you add all these up and uh, JP got close to 200 stones for part two of the celebration and I fully expect global to also get somewhere in that range okay so at this point if you're adding everything up you're keeping a tally we're getting close to a thousand stones is something like 950 after part two right now moving into part three special missions two stones uh ultimate red zone movie bosses new stages as well as gt edition 18 stones for each of those and then two new extreme z battles the first one is for super saiyan goku and super saiyan vegeta that of course is the third anniversary lr vegito so that's 33 stones right there 
And then we have the other one for the Super Saiyan Goku Angel and Super Saiyan Vegeta Angel, which is the third anniversary LR Gogeta, another 33 stones right there. And then uh, after that, we have the Extreme Z area for the Faded Bloodline Edition. That would be the, um, you know, LR, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks. 13 stones there. New missions for GT Legendary Goku event, 10 stones. New missions for uh, Legendary Vegeta event, 10 stones. Explosive Chain Battle. Uh, I forgot exactly who the boss was for this one. That's my bad. But new Explosive Chain Battle, nonetheless, it's gonna happen. 20 stones from that. Co-op campaign, 7 stones. And end of the 7th anniversary gift, 30 stones. Now, this is usually something we get at the end of every anniversary or major Dual Dokkan Fest celebration. It's like a thank you gift. And we should be getting this as well. But if you think about it, it's almost like a bit of a fake out because after that, they will release an EX part, which also gives a bunch of stones. So for part three, we're looking at once again, close to 200 stones, 194 to be exact. And if you add up everything to this point, it's 1,093. Of course, if you add in the um, Dokkan Scout stones, another 50, then it's close to you know 1,150 stones, right? but you have to factor in the EX part. So for the EX part, we have the login bonus, 21 stones. Now this Inherited Fate Warriors a Century Later is actually something we already got on Global. It's for the LR uh, Goku and Vegeta Juniors. So this one does not count. Uh, but then we have the New Extreme Z Battle Destined Rival Saga 5, which is the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Extreme Z Awakening and that's 43 stones right there. We have this crazy Extreme Z Battle Dokkan All-Stars. Now this is, um, I'm sure some of you guys or most of you guys have heard about it, at least in some capacity. This is the crazy like 999 level Extreme Z Battle event where you can get up to 277 Dragon Stones. If you complete the whole thing, you get like enough orbs to rainbow like 10 units, a tons of Kai's, tons of Zenny, and all that good stuff. It takes a really long time to complete. I'm probably going to be streaming it over the course of like a week plus. But uh, yeah, if you if you get it done, if you get it done, you get 277 stones. Now, I don't think you actually have to complete all 999 levels to get all these stones. I think they're probably like you know, spread out throughout the earlier stage. I'm not sure though, I have to go back and look. I'll do a video breaking everything down uh, later. But for now, all you gotta know is that there are a total of up to 277 stones obtainable from this Dokkan All-Stars Extreme Z Battle event. And last but not least, we have the Extreme Z area, which is the Faded Bloodline Edition, which I believe is referring to the stage for the LR Goku and Vegeta Jr. So I guess we wouldn't count that, but if you add up all the stones from the EX part, it's around 350 stones. So you add the 350 to this total right here, and then you add in the Dokkan Scout stones, and you're basically looking at over, I guess, 1500 stones. Yeah, over 1500 stones for the seventh anniversary. If you add up parts one, two, three, EX parts, the countdown, the seven masters missions, and whatever else I'm forgetting. But yeah, guys, as I said in the beginning of this video, it's a lot of stones, uh, the most we've actually ever received from any anniversary up to this point. You just gotta make sure that you actually do all this stuff that we talked about in this video and yeah we're in for a lot of free summons a lot of free stones um it's a very generous celebration as you can see and um there you go guys that is the video as i said before the numbers are a little bit rough okay so if they end up being slightly off don't get upset 
but it should be fairly close. It should be fairly close to the actual number. So that's the video, guys. That's all I gotta say. Uh, I know it went a little bit long, but hopefully it was informative. Hopefully you guys learned something. And uh, I will see you in the next video very soon. There's gonna be a lot of videos on this channel for the anniversary, so definitely turn on notifications. Definitely sub to the channel if you guys haven't done so already. And uh, also, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.